back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. In the last video, we set up your value scales so that we could make four different value scales. And in this one, we're going to use the color picker to change the colors of the value scales. At the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you'll need to have completed before you move on to the next one. Now that you have your value scales all set, we're going to set the color that we're going to use. So select all of your boxes, and we're gonna change these to be back to the default. That'll make them white with a black one point stroke. And our first set of boxes we do want to be white. And then the rest of them, we're gonna use the colors cyan, yellow, and magenta. Why these colors? Well, these colors are like the primary colors for your printer. So let's start with this first set of boxes. When you click in the color picker, you see percentages all the way across this right side. The C stands for cyan. The M stands for magenta. The Y stands for yellow and the K stands for key, which controls your value. And we'll get into that in the next video. When I move my color around up here, you'll see these percentages change along with several other numbers over here. So when you print on an inkjet printer, these colors are the colors that the printer will use. RGB here stands for red, green, and blue and their colors span from zero to 255. So if I drag this all the way to the top, since I have a red hue, that red goes to 255. But for our scales, we're gonna use the CYMK. One, because it's easier to understand the zero to 100 percentages, and so that we can easily see the values change incrementally. So start with yellow, make the C 0%, make the M 0%, and make the Y 100%. And that should give you your brilliant yellow color. Moving on to the next one, make your M 100%, make your C 100%. Now let's add the values to these value scales. The first box is going to be 0% on the K, which stands for key that controls the black and white. So we need to leave the first box alone for all of these scales. The second box is where you're gonna start changing things. Change the K to 10%. And notice that a few of these settings change but some of them should stay the same since this is the only box we're changing. These three specifically should never change. So if they do change, then you might wanna undo and then retry. So it changes our white to a gray color. If I go down to yellow, see how it changes the value of the yellow. And with magenta and cyan. So you're just going to be adding value 10% of the time across each scale until you have black all the way down this line. So the second box is 20, the third box is 30, so on and so forth. And don't forget that if you happen to double click an object, just double click outside of the object to exit isolate mode. You can use the key tab to change the boxes inside the color picker if you don't wanna move your mouse around so much. As I work, I'm going to speed up the video so that you don't have to watch me do all the work, but you can pause the video at any time to see what I'm doing. And to recap what we did in this video, you should have changed the colors of your value scales to white, yellow, magenta, and cyan and you should have changed the values to each rectangle 10% at a time, creating your 11 step value scales. If you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. <laughs>